The week supply report can analyze your sales history and estimate how many weeks the merchandise you have on hand will last. It can also help you determine the quantity you need to purchase in order to have enough supply to last for a specific number of weeks. First, decide whether you want to analyze your sales by the week or by the month. Then decide how many weeks of sales you would like to include in the analysis. Let's run this report based on the sales for four weeks. Then decide whether you want to base your supply estimates on the average sold over those four weeks or on what was sold in the last week of the four weeks. Next, choose the last date. We will enter April 30th which means that our report results will be based on the sales that occurred during the four weeks prior to April 30th. This report will give you the total quantities of each item you currently have on hand. It can also tell you the quantity of each item in your warehouse. Enter the store that is your warehouse location here. If you check in equals receive, all transfers into your store will be included in the quantity received. You can also choose to see the quantity sold for a separate date range, which may or may not include the last four weeks. If you do not wish to include another date range, then uncheck the Include Range box. Let's check the box and include a column to show us what was sold in the first quarter of the year. Check the boxes for the options you wish to use. You may choose to Consolidate Stores, which will give you the combined totals for all of your stores instead of listing each store separately. Include the receiving totals for the past four weeks along with the sales. Run the report only for products that were sold during the selected time period. Exclude products that have never been received. Show the first and last received weeks. Show the percentage of each product that was sold since its inception. Show the markdowns for each product. And show the vendor summary, which shows a summary for each vendor included in your search. You can also choose to run the report for products that have a retail price above the amount entered here. Next, choose your report parameters. Like most of the reports in VRP, you can run the week supply report based on any combination of product attributes. Let's choose to run the report by the vendor 123 for our example. You can also choose whether you want your sales to be analyzed by product and color, UPC, or product alone. You may also wish to view only those products that have been received within the last number of days. Once you have selected your report parameters, click Run. Then click Auto Size to adjust the width of all columns. Each line shows the related product information. The On Hand column shows the quantity you currently have on hand. The Week 1 column shows the quantity sold in the week immediately preceding the last date which is April 30th. The Week 2 column is the week prior to that, and so on for Weeks 3 and 4. The Range column shows the quantity sold in the range entered, which is January 1st through March 31st. If you scroll to the right, you can see more information, such as the percent profit, the quantity on hand in your warehouse, which is the store indicated in the warehouse field, your receiving information, and the percent sold since inception. The most important piece of information is the week supply column. The week supply column shows how many weeks worth of inventory you currently have on hand based on the average of what was sold over the four chosen weeks. For the first product listed, you can see that we currently have four in stock. 
Based on what we have sold and the four weeks we chose to analyze, we have enough merchandise to last 2.3 weeks. If it takes this supplier two weeks to deliver an order, then we should have enough on hand to last until we receive our next order if we were to place an order today. You can click Create PO to place an order for this item now. Enter the quantity you would like to order now. Based on our report, we know that we have enough on hand to last us for 2.3 weeks. We also know that it will take two weeks for this supplier to deliver our order. If we want to keep four weeks supply on hand, then based on the quantity sold in the four weeks we analyzed, we should order at least seven to fill the demand for four more weeks, since we will most likely have an on-hand quantity of zero or one by the time we receive this order. I will order eight pieces as an estimate of how many we will need to have on hand to cover the demand for the next four weeks. Then enter the standard PO header information. When you are finished, click Create PO. If you are running this report for a large group or vendor, or for all of the products in your database, it may take longer to run. For this reason, you have the option of saving the report so that if you exit week supply and decide that you need to review the report again, you can recall the information quickly. Also, other users will be able to recall your report data, which could be a great time saver for them. To save the report, click Save Results. In order to use the Save Results feature, you cannot choose the Sold Only option. To recall the saved report, click Run As Of. The button below will indicate the date of the saved results. Click the As Of button to recall the existing report data. You can click the As Of button to retrieve these results from any workstation. You also have the option of deferring the execution of the report, perhaps to allow it to run overnight. To do this, check the Defer Execution box, then click Run. You can then enter the date and time of when you would like the report to run. To retrieve the results, click the Run As Of button and you will see the date of the delayed execution. Click the As Of button to view the report results. Many businesses prefer to run the week supply report overnight when there is no activity, then use those report results the following day, allowing them to save time waiting for a large report to run. If you do choose to run the report for all of your products, you can still choose to view results only for a particular vendor, group, or individual product. Choose your parameters, then click the As Of button to view only the selections you chose. As with all other reports in VRP, you can arrange the columns to your liking, then save the layout. You can highlight an item and click Receive History to view a history of that item's receiving. To use this feature, you must run the report by UPC. Let's highlight an item and click Receive History to view the history of all of that item's receiving. You can also view the vendor's full name and view an item's long description. You can export or print your search results. You can add contrast by clicking Zebra. Click Show to view additional sales and back office details. Choose your parameters, then click Run. On the left, you will see a listing of all sales 
while on the right you will see a listing of all back office transactions for the highlighted product. Click Summary to view the totals. To exit the show, click Bye Bye. You can click Bye Bye to exit the week's supply report.